All right, got off the spot welds, cut out the damage. Yeah, baby. Project Rec J. Almost damage free. You have a unibody frame that's bashed in. You got to shove in your 2x4. Get some leverage on it. Uh, crank it. There we go. Whew. Now, not quite there. It's just. Not too bad. Now this side straight. Just gotta hammer this back straight now. And you get the vice grips. Bend this back. There we go. Just getting there. Project Rec J. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and welcome to the project. Today, we're going to be working with Project Rec J. No, this isn't Rec J. What this thing is is the two halves of Project Beach Jeep that I'm not going to be using. I kind of welded these things together just so I could wheel it around the yard. <laughs> Look at the tiny wheelbase on this thing called this thing a mini xj put this on instagram you guys really loved it you wanted me to build it into a running and driving jeep but i'm probably just going to end up using it for parts uh, the first part i need is that inner quarter panel in the front the part that i already removed out of project rec j we scrapped it we got the smash parts of project rec j there's the front bumper cross member part of the unibody note the vin number and the paint code front bumper and smashed front inner quarter. Ooh. But now what we're gonna have to do is replace that part. So what we're gonna do is use that good old spot weld cutter again. It's basically a little hole saw. Boom. What this does is it cuts the edge of the spot weld, then it separates the metal. When you have your new piece of metal laid on, you just go ahead and tack it together. No holes to fill, this is awesome. So we're going to use that spot weld cutter tool again to extract the panels out of this thing and put them in Project Rec J. The key is to attack the welds from the same direction as the original cuts, so you're not leaving yourself with an open hole to weld close. It's kind of hard to explain. Look at that. You want to make sure that you have something to weld to. That's basically the bottom line. Don't, you can't weld holes. Well, I guess you can, but it's harder. So we're going to be referencing Project Rec J right now so I know which direction to cut these spot welds. This will help me weld them back in. So I'm going to compare where the holes are and I'm going to mark them off with a little circle so I know which direction to cut. And that's going to be it. So let me pull this thing out. I'll go reference Project Rec J and I'll figure out how to uh, cut these welds and let's get to it. All right. All right, there we go. So I compared the cuts from Rec J, and here we have all the holes I need to attack from this side, the ones I burned through. Actually, this one I incorrectly marked, but I put an X there so I know. So I'm gonna attack all the holes that I circled, all the ones that are circled on this side, is the ones I'm gonna attack from this side. This way, there'll be something to weld to on every weld. All right, just gonna go blast all my circles with the center punch. All right, let's cut some welds. Most of these welds are cut. Gonna get in there with a pry bar and see how well I cut them. Ah. 
Hey, there we go. Started working the metal and it looks like I found a hidden weld right there. So far so good. We're getting there. Good boy. Good boy. You got good rocks right there, kid. Woo! All right, there we go. A nice piece of front inner unibody right there. Got our engine bay. This will go nicely in Rec J. Now we're going to have to extract this bumper support. All right, and just like the engine bay unibody, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I drill through the same way. This way I could preserve the metal that's gonna butt up against this spot. This way I could just fill in the weld right here instead of actually having to weld in a giant gaping hole. All right, check it out. Not looking too bad. So far, all I did was just lay this baby in place. And uh, wow, so far so good. They are just resting where they should be. And um, that's pretty darn good. I think this is gonna come out very nice. Now, I didn't expect these welds to match up perfectly, but uh, they're, they're pretty darn close. And what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna grind away all these little nibs right here so I could butt this up nice and flush and then I'll uh, zap it in. Cool. Alright guys, just about ready to weld this up. Here's what I did. I measured from this body hole to this corner piece right there and I got the same dimensions from this body hole right here to this front piece and then I also crossed it up from that same body hole to this front body hole and then of course right back this way. Measured that. It's just about the same so I know it is square. When I weld this in I'm going to make sure that I push firm pressure in and this way it'll be exactly where I need it so time to weld
All right, guys, there it is. Looking good. We got this inner quarter panel welded up really nice. We got it welded on on the inside and the outside. Looking good down here. Uh, sorry, I ran out of battery when I did the bumper support piece, uh, but we will cut to tomorrow morning when I get some sunlight so I can show you guys a little better in the daylight. All right, good night. All right, guys. Well, daylight savings gypped me of light. I ran out of time after work, so it got dark on me. But uh, here is what I did. I welded on the bumper support bracket. The radiator support bracket this fits right in here. This is where the radiator lies, so it's important to have this pretty straight. You're going to want everything to line up. Uh, here is the inner fender and this is fantastic this inner quarter panel that holds the fender on you want this as square as possible i welded this on i filled in all those little welds i made and man it came out good it is nice and straight if you notice i put these clips back on i already test fitted the fender and whoo -hoo -hoo, it looks really good so I'm not going to show you that just yet. You'll have to wait as we progress with the project of our Rec J. I think its new name is going to be Resurrect J because <laughs> it's back, baby. This thing is coming back to life. So there we go. This is welded on up. This is the final result, and I'm happy to share this with you. And that is it. Looking great. All right, guys. I think I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm really not sure how it's going to come out. I filmed this in so many little segments uh, over the course of the summer and the fall. But here is Rec J. It's back together. There is no more damage parts on this vehicle. There are no more damage parts on this vehicle, yes. So it is no longer a Rec J. Thinking about changing its name to Resurrect J. This thing is back to life. So here we go. All we gotta do is put it back together. This is looking great. And I'm very excited to, uh, to take this to its new owner and uh yeah we have someone lined up for this already so here we go that's it i'm gonna close this one out thank you guys so much for watching remember to like subscribe and i will see you guys on the next resurrect j project peace